maximum truth-seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe. And I think this, this might be the best path to safety. As a rival to Chad GPT, Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO of Tesla, unveiled Grok, a new AI model. Musk stated that Grok beats ChatGPT 3.5 in many benchmarks when he introduced the prototype on his social media site X, previously Twitter. This innovation is a component of Musk's most recent endeavor, XAI, which aims to significantly impact the rate of advancement in AI. The term Grog first appeared in the 1961 science fiction book Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Henlon. The Martian term Grok is the novel originally meant to drink, but it later it came to imply to understand profoundly and intuitively, or to take something in so thoughtfully that it becomes part of you. Since then, the term has become more widely used in English to refer to an in-depth or intuitive comprehension of something. What is Grok? Grok has been used in the context of comprehended complicated systems or programming languages in the realm of technology and software. It means having a profound intuitive knowledge of how something functions or is utilized, not merely knowing the ins and outs. The initial offering from Musk's new AI firm, Grok, is presently only accessible to a small number of early adopters, because Grok has protections against improper or harmful replies. It promises to answer spicy questions that other chatbots often avoid. This makes Grok unique. The data in Grok obtains from Musk's social media site X is one of the main advantages. Unlike other AI models that rely on statistic data sets, Grok is able to keep up to date on the newest advances thanks to the dynamic data source. Additionally, Grok has a rebellious attitude and is built to answer with a hint of humor, which gives it interactions a special depth. Musk has stated his desire to expand X's function as a social network and to make it a feature-rich software akin to Tencent Holdings LTD's WeChat in China. In this sense, Grok's contribution to the platform's development is crucial. Although XAI is a distinct company from X, it is made clear that it wants to work closely with X, Tesla, and other companies that are connected to Musk. It is anticipated that the combination will produce breakthroughs that go beyond current AI capabilities to provide users with more intelligent and entertaining experiences. The rivalry in the industry is intensifying, giving Musk's history of daring business endeavors and the introduction of Grok as a fresh participant in the AI scene. As Grok and ChatGPT push each other to new limits and compete, users may expect exciting advancements and advances in AI interactions. According to blog posts they published on a website, Grok is an artificial intelligence system that was inspired by Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and is designed to be much more intelligent than that book, even provide advice on what queries to pose. Grok is meant to respond to your inquiries with a hint of humor and rebellious attitude. So if you detest humor, please do not use it. Grok has the distinct and essential benefit of having real-time world knowledge because of the X platform. Additionally, it'll respond to acrimonious queries that the majority of other AI systems ignore. Additionally, Grok is currently in a very early beta. The more we can hope for after two months of training is that it'll improve quickly every week. That, then, was X's official declaration. Since this is by far the most fascinating huge language model we've encountered, we'll now go into great detail about every point and what this implies. This creation by Elon Musk and his group is genuinely exceptional. Now that we've discussed how this huge language model functions in a specific interaction, let's get started. We promise that you will be astonished by what this large language model can accomplish or how effectively it has been tailored. As you can see, Grok's approach does, in fact, provide a really intriguing reaction. It reads, get a chemistry degree, get a DEA license, set up laboratory, and of course, acquire large quantities of leaves and yada yada yada. And it's actually very funny. It's satire. However, Elon Musk was actually requested by another user to provide us with a whole recipe. And surprisingly enough, in his response, he gave us the complete recipe. All right, so I don't want to talk too much since I don't want the video to lose its revenue. However, we're not sure if this was Elon Musk simply responding to a user or if more information may be obtained by speaking with Grok, the LLM. Now, while information is freely available everywhere, we do hope that this isn't the case because given how well-tuned this language model has been, we believe it's going to be detrimental to society if this big language model is easily jailbroken. Now, the XAI team has disclosed further details on Grok, including the fact that at first, Grok would have access to real-time data through the X platform, SL Twitter Network. For the sake of clarity, the website formerly known as Twitter.com is what we mean when we refer to X platform. It claims to be grounded and to adore irony. We have no clue who may have led it to this direction. This is undoubtedly a sarcastic remark from Elon Musk, who is obviously referring to himself as the one who made it. 
It's clear by looking at the benchmarks that they're not too bad. Naturally, they don't outperform ChatGPT. That's all I'm going to say moving forward. They failed the GPT-4 exam. When it comes to huge language models, the rule in all capacities, GPT-4 is still the best. However, if we examine Grok-1, we can find that it does compare rather favorably to GPT-3.5 and Inflection-1. As we can see, it scored 62.9% on both GSM-88K, a set of middle school arithmetic word problems, which is higher than both GPT-3.5 and LLM-2. It also scored similar to the Pi Inflection-1. Furthermore, the MMLU, a set of interdisciplinary multiple-choice questions presented in a five-shot setting, scored 73%, surpassing ChatGPT score of 3.5. And in the human evaluation, it scored 63.2%, outperforming ChatGPT's 48.1%. Given that GPT-4 is so much higher, you may be thinking that you are comparing apples to oranges at this point. However, it also makes sense for us to take this action as we need to determine the precise location and capabilities of this massive language model. Now, in the math exam, which consists of the Latix written math questions from middle school and high school, it received a score of 23.9%, which is just above GPT-3.5. That's why it's so fascinating. It claims that Grok1 outperformed all other models in its computing class, including Chat GPT 3.5 and Inflection 1 on these benchmarks. It only exceeded by models such as GPT 4 that were trained on far more training data and computational resources. This demonstrates the quick progress we are making at XAI in terms of exceptionally efficient LLM training. Furthermore, we did not find this video showcasing the Grok user interface that is circulating on Twitter to be fascinating. Upon first glance, it is also apparent that there are two models, regular and fun. This is reminiscent of Microsoft Bing's user interface, where certain settings tend to be more imaginative than others. Thus, you can see that after hearing the person's advice to write quick sort in Rust, Grok chose to actually develop this code in the programming language. At Grok, we're offering a limited number of users in the United States early access to try out our Grok prototype and provide valuable feedback that will help us improve its capabilities before a wider release. This is the link to join the Grok waitlist. While this is only the beginning for XAI, we have an exciting roadmap ahead of us and we'll be releasing more features in the upcoming months. Here are some intriguing, though unconfirmed details about Grok. It appears to have a 25,000 character context window fast screen refresh response times, a live search engine that prioritizes X for contacts API, the previously mentioned image and audio recognition features, and a version of Grok that runs natively in Tesla's using local compute power. Therefore, we believe that having a native LLM built into their system would be highly interesting for Tesla. If you're wondering why Elon Musk founded this massive language model firm, one of the main reasons is that the vast language models that are now in use include a lot of bias. That's all folks, keep supporting and subscribing to our channel.